name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. So this is my wrap up for the month of September. I read 25 books in September, which is kind of insane, but I'm happy about it because most of them were ARCs. Now the worst book that I read just so happened to be, uh, what was it called? That's what frenemies are for, I believe is what it was called. Let me look. That's What Frenemies Are For by Sophie Littlefield. I gave it two stars. I could not stand the women in there. They were uppity and just snobby and just self-absorbed. It just wasn't, it just wasn't good. And I had so many issues with what they did and it just wasn't nice. It was more than just nice. It was just it was worse than the Real Housewives, okay? It was so much drama and just I couldn't stand any of them. I couldn't stand the husband in that. I just, I couldn't stand them. So forget about that book. Just, ugh, no. I did end up uh, restarting the Jack the Ripper series. The Hunting Jack the Ripper, Stalking Jack the Ripper. And I loved it. I read the first two books and they were so good. I'm surprised I didn't read them until now. I gave them four stars, so I can't wait to continue on with that series. I know that I have one of the books on audio, and then I need to, and I have another of the books on hold at the library, so I just, I can't wait. I absolutely love the series because it is, it, it is, it's not what you think. Um, it certainly isn't what I thought it was going to be. I wasn't even really sure what I was expecting. I was kind of going into it blind. Um, but I knew that James Patterson backed it. So I knew that I had to go ahead and read it because I am a James Patterson fanatic. Um, I love the fact that it is historical fiction. I love the fact that it's taking place during the time. Uh, Stalking Jack the Ripper. You're right in the middle of it. Uh, they're investigating the crimes and you actually find out who did it in this fictional uh, book and that's really good and I really love the following one about Prince ja Prince Dracula so you know it's it's just it's really cool I really like how that series is laid out uh, and I found them to be pretty quick reads I did read and audio uh, at the same time so you know it makes it a little bit easier to do the audiobooks that's how I end up reading 25 books I can't help it I love audiobooks because I could do other things I did end up uh, listening to Bird Box and that book it was interesting um, I watched the movie and really the book was better it was more I thought it there was a lot more that happened but it still didn't really explain everything but then I found out that there's going to be a sequel to Bird Box. So hopefully we get to know what it is that is exactly going on. Uh, let's see, what else did I end up reading? I ended up reading a book called In the Darkness, and that's by Mike Omer. And I read the first one in the series. and It's the Zoe Bentley series, and I loved it. I, I love that series. Definitely go ahead and give Mike Omer a chance. My battery is almost dead, so I am trying to sum this up as best as I can. Um, that's what happens when I go ahead and, and I forget to charge my camera. I did read some Danielle Steele books like The Dark Side and Lost and Found. So far, Danielle Steele has not let me down at all. Each book is completely different. I haven't read her older stuff, but her newer stuff. It's just, I really enjoy it. I'm a Danielle Steele fan. I can't help it. Um, one that was really, really inspiring, and I gave it five stars, is The Theft of American Soul, of America's Soul, blowing off the lids, blowing the lid off the lies that are destroying our country by Phil Robertson. As you guys may or may not know, he is basically um, the head of the Robertson family and he was on Duck Dynasty and all I could say is if you are not a Christian and you are not conservative this book may not be for you um, but I thought that it was very insightful 
and uh, it was he shared how he became a Christian he was very open and honest and I respected that so much so definitely if you read this book go in to it with an open mind if you're not Christian and conservative that's pretty much all I can really say about that one that one was just really good and the audio was fantastic and he did the audio uh, let's see Another book that I read was by Deborah Webb, The Lies We Tell, and this is the second book in the Undertaker's Daughter series. I gave it three stars. I really liked it. I, I think I would have enjoyed it better if I read the first book, which I did end up getting on Hoopla, so I will definitely get to that one at some point. Um, so I thought it was good enough to get the first one. It wasn't the best book, but it was all right. Let's see. Another one of the... Um, books that I like to discuss is the very best of Caitlin R. Kiernan. I gave it two stars and I only gave it two stars because some of the short stories in there were really good. The other ones were just flops. I found it boring and I, I, I don't know. I feel, I feel kind of bad about it, but it's, I just, it's not my kind of book. I figured that it would be because it's sort of, she's sort of like a creepy author, um, a horror author, thrill, thriller, things that go bump in the night type of author so I figured I would like her but apparently I did not let's see um I know I posted this on Instagram but my favorite book has to be Love Chocolate and a Dog Named Al Capone and that's by Abigail Drake it is the cutest book I've ever read I loved it it was in the perspective of Capone who is a Labrador and he is a puppy and it is so cute it is just, it is so cute. It is so, so cute. Let's see, what else did I read? Uh, I read a lot of books that were just basically three stars, just average. Um, I read a love to hate book, which was called, or a hate to love book, which is called Love and Other Mistakes by Jessica Kale. I gave that four stars. I'm a sucker for those. Um, let's see. Uh, on the Corner of Love and Hate was another one by Nina Bocci. Again, it was four stars. Uh, Soul of the Sword by Julie uh, Kagawa. I also gave that four stars. That is part of the Shadow of the Fox series. I reviewed the first one for Nat Galley, and I did end up getting the second one. So I really like that series a whole lot. Um... Let me see what else. Uh, there's just uh, so many different types of books. I read The Dead Girl Stilettos by Quinn Avery. I definitely want to read more of her books. Kingdom of es Exiles, The Beast Charmer. I thought that that was really good. Um, it really got me hooked from the very beginning, so I highly recommend that one. Kingdom of Exiles was basically... Um, about a woman who goes ahead and she has to sell her magical creatures uh, to get out of debt. And that is illegal. So she gets in trouble and there is um, a team that is hired to basically kill her. And she has to convince them to go ahead and not kill her. And it was just, it's just a really good book and I enjoyed it way more than I thought that I would. So I'm really, really glad that I got a chance to review that for NetGalley. I read a V.C. Andrews book and it was called Beneath the Attic and it was basically the story of uh, how the family became to be before the Flowers in the Attic series and I actually enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. It's kind of hard whenever you read 25 books uh, to determine, you know, what books you specifically want to talk about. Um, Sean and McGuire, I read That Ain't Witchcraft, and that was really good. I gave that five stars. Sean and McGuire has never let me down either. I just, I love her. I love all of her books so far. Yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys today. Uh, if you want to know anything more about the other books, just leave a comment and I will go into more detail. And of course, you can always check out my re reviews on Goodreads. So anyway, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!